everybody. Welcome into the Merrill Center, the magnificent Merrill Center in Katy for ViteFortBend.com coverage of a doubleheader of girls playoff basketball games. It is the Memorial Mustangs out of Spring Branch against your Fort Bend Austin Bulldogs. I'm Roger Smith, glad to have you with us. And as the Austin girls are being introduced, it sounds like they have a fantastic presence of fans here inside the Merrill Center. This VibeFortBend.com presentation of girls playoff basketball featuring the Austin Lady Bulldogs is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tyron Automotive with four great locations throughout Fort Bend County, including Katie Cinco Ranch, also along Eldridge Road in Sugarland, First Colony on Lexington Boulevard near the mall, and also in Great Wood. We're also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen on the Southwest Freeway, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway, open since 1956 and ready to serve you. You'll feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen. So we are not going to waste any time getting this game underway. The starting lineup for the Memorial Mustangs, Riley McCloskey, Mary Fielder, Abigail Tomaski, Nikki Polacek, and Gianna Vlahakos. And for your Austin Bulldogs, who come in with an overall record of 28-5 and, and a 13-1 and district record as the number one seed coming out of District 26A, you've got Andrea Sturdivant, one freshman, Amina Dixon, another. Boy, they're going to be really, really good over the next three years. Also, Kalechi DK, she is a junior. You've got India Jackson, also a junior and you've got Gabby Johnson, the only senior in the starting lineup for the Austin Lady Bulldogs. They're wearing white and going from right to left, and we are underway from the Merrill Center. Andrea Sturdivant sends it over on the left side, gets it to DK. DK holding the ball overhead, moves to her left near the corner, now reverses her field. Now it's Gabby Johnson with a two-pointer from the free throw line, no good, off the glass. She missed that one, and Abigail Tomaski cleans up the glass for Memorial, wearing the black uniforms with the red and white trim. There goes Vlahakos. She couldn't find the shot she wanted. And now a turnover by Memorial. A hard cross-court pass from Mary Fielder intended for Abigail Tomaski, and it goes out of bounds. So glad that you joined us for this one. And after this one is over, we'll shut it down real quick and then turn it right back on for the game between Side Creek and the Dulles Lady Vikings. Here are the Austin Lady Bulldogs trying to get the ball inside, and they do to Amina Dixon, but she is tied up on the play. And the held ball, possession arrow, favors Memorial. Memorial coming into this game, 27-4 overall. They, just like Austin, had a 13-1 district record out of 17, 6A. Lahakos down the left sideline and now gets it to McCloskey. Top of the key, guarded by Sturvin, launches a long three. Off the front iron, no good. McCloskey went down on the shot. She shot. She thought she was fouled, but she wasn't. Gabby Johnson into the forecourt. Sturdivant, quick give and go, and in she goes. Sturdivant scores the first basket of the game. It is two to nothing. The Austin Lady Bull Bulldogs on top, and now they start to deploy a full court press. They get it to Polacek into the forecourt, and she hands it to McCloskey. And there goes Lahakos down the left side of the free throw line, puts it up and fouled by India Jackson as she tries to bank one in from the left side. The head coach for Memorial is Yusuf Larry. And the head coach in her first year with Austin is LaQuisha Dickerson as McCloskey hits the first free throw for Memorial. And the shot up and no good. Only one out of two. India, uh, I should say, Gabby Johnson with the rebound of the missed free throw and gets the ball to Amina Dixon, who drives the hoop but does not score. One and done. Rebound comes down to the taller Memorial team. There goes Tomaski down to the right baseline. She has to reverse her field as India Jackson cut her off. There goes Lahako, sends it over on the left side. It's Fielder. Fielder gives up the ball down low. Nice feed. Gets it to Tomaski for a two-pointer that puts the Mustangs into the lead. 3-2. to two. You're listening to VipeFortBend.com. DK had the ball tipped away from her while she was dribbling, and we have a held ball, and this time the arrow points the Bulldogs' way. 
Love doing ball games here at the magnificent Merrill Center in Katy. Inbounds pass to Gabby Johnson. Long way across to DK. Almost lost it. Recovered. Sturdivant. Three on the way. Yes! Five to three. The Bulldogs on top. Long pass down the floor, and it almost got away from Memorial, but a great job by Polacek to run it down. Now she's trapped in the corner and a double team, and she's tied up. Amina Dixon ties her up. And the arrow should favor Memorial. They started to give it to Austin, which would be nice, but that wouldn't be fair. I'll tell you what, it looks like the Austin students have done a great job of uh, ignoring all kinds of traffic laws on the way to the Merrill Center because they are here on time and in force. I guess it's hard getting down the Katy Freeway from the Spring Branch area. So the Mustangs have the basketball. Tomaski backing in. Now sends it out there to Polacek. A three on the way from the left corner. No good. Long pass to DK. Her layup is good. Seven to three. The dogs in front. Now Sturdivant and DK in the backcourt trying to harass Riley McCloskey. She gets the ball to Polacek. Now into the forecourt. It's Fielder. Memorial trailing seven to three. We've played almost three minutes. McCloskey trying to get away from her defender. Now it is Polacek, moves to her left. And now in the deep corner, it's Vlahakos, and it's good. Here comes Austin, back into the offensive mode, leading 7-6. to six. Sturdivant sends it to DK, entry pass, gets it to Gabby Johnson. Oh, what strength she has! And she was up there against the taller Vlahakos. And she just made sure that she kept the ball and she laid it in to make it a 9-6 game. Austin on top. This very young Austin team with two freshmen in the starting lineup. Polacek backing in inside the paint, puts it up, and it rolls around and a friendly roll gets down. Sturdivant playing good defense. But sometimes the shot just goes in. Now a pass intended for Gabby Johnson, but India Jackson there to catch the deflection, and she hits a short bank shot from about five feet out, and it's 11 to eight, Austin on top. There goes Polacek. She's cut off near the free throw line, gets it back to McCloskey. Back out there to Vlahakos, three on the way, missed everything. And the ball bounces beyond the baseline. We have a whistle and a substitution. It's Memorial's Kendall Lyons coming in. And she replaces Mary Fielder. She's a 5'7 sophomore. Sturdivant walks it straight up the floor. Memorial not pressing, at least not yet. India Jackson sent it to Sturdivant. Now back to Gabby Johnson. Beautiful give and go. And it rolls in for two. 13 to 8 our score. Austin on top of Memorial. I think a lot of people who have seen highlights of Memorial playing on TV would probably think they should be favored, but so far it's been the Bulldogs game. Polacek is blocked by Gabby Johnson. And there is a three to McCloskey, and she nails it. And that brings the Mustangs within 13 to 11. Amina Dixon dribbling the ball and beckoning a teammate over to come and give her a pick. Gabby Johnson hands over her head, and now a steal. There goes Vlahakos. She's free and lays it in from the right side, and we're tied at 13. Nice anticipation by Gianna Vlahakos. She's a senior and stands six feet tall. Gabby Johnson sends it to India Jackson. She's between the rings, does not dribble, gives it to Sturdivant, three on the way. No good and one and done. Rebound comes down to Memorial as Tomaski has it. She's all the way down the floor herself and she gets it poked away, recovers, sends it to the corner and off the hands of her teammate, Kendall Lyons, a turnover by Memorial. 13 all. We've got a whistle and a timeout taken by these Austin Bulldogs. We'll be right back on VipeFortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. 
This offer ends March 31st, so go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. 2.28 to go in the first quarter and the Austin Bulldogs all tied up with Memorial Mustangs. 13 all. After this ball game is over, we will have the game between Cy Creek and your Dulles Lady Vikings. Dulles with a 51-47 win over Katy in the bi-district matchup. And Austin with the ball coming out of that timeout. Tomorrow night we'll have Foster in their second round playoff game taking on Barbers Hill. Gabby Johnson all the way to the hoop. Took the inbounds pass, just kept dribbling, and found the opening and scored. It's 15 to 13. Vlahakos trying to drive around Sturdivant. They're using Sturdivant, the much smaller player against Vlahakos. She forces a miss, throws it down the floor to Gabby Johnson, who lays it in. And as we saw so many times in the opening round game against Cinco Ranch, Austin beating the other team down the floor, namely Gabby Johnson. Here goes Tomaski, and she turns and scores from in close. That gets Memorial within 17-15. Sturdivant, three. Off the back iron, no good, but the rebound comes down to DK. DK running out of room near the baseline, kills her dribble. Now a bounce pass inside to Johnson, puts it up, and good defense by Memorial, but on the floor is Vlahakos, and what happened? She traveled. She was sitting on the uh, seat of her shorts, and you know it's hard not to get traveled when you're sitting there holding the ball and you're in that position. So it'll be the Bulldogs to inbound the ball. Johnson into Sturdivant. Long three on the way, no good. Rebound fought for, tapped, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Austin. No substitutions yet for Austin. That's another thing to look for. They played their first round game two nights ago, and I don't know if you're a teenager, does it really matter that much if you play a game two nights later? Well, probably not, except, you know, it's three nights later for Memorial. They played their first game on Monday night. There goes McCloskey driving the left side of the free throw line, and it is DK who swats the ball away, and I think they call her for a foul on the floor before the shot went up. But DK, who really swatted it, looks uh, not, um, if you were to put it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would put it at a 4, her level of disappointment with the call. McCloskey at the line, in and out with the first free throw. Still 17 to 15, Austin on top of Memorial. We have 1-11 to go in the first quarter. McCloskey's second free throw also missed, and DK grabs the rebound, gets it to Jackson, gets it to Sturdivant. There goes Andrea, sends it to the right corner. And now there goes Gabby Johnson driving the baseline, and she gets fouled. And I think they're going to call it on Nikki Polacek. And we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is VitefortBend.com, 17-15. Austin leading Memorial almost into the final minute of the first quarter. First Tire and Auto loves supporting school and youth sports programs. First Tire and Auto loves their customers. First Tire and Auto wants you to love your vehicle all month long. Up to $75 off repairs and up to $50 in savings on tires. Love heading to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointments today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Love, firsttireandauto.com. So Gabby Johnson goes to the line and what a magnificent game she had against Cinco Ranch on Tuesday night. She had double-figure shot blocks and led the team in scoring. And we have a quiet moment here. I'm not really sure why everything has gotten so quiet. All right, now the ball is in Gabby Johnson's hands, and her first free throw is good. 
Definitely more Austin fans than Spring Branch Memorial fans here tonight. I say tonight, but it's not even 6 p.m. Gabby Johnson, second free throw, also good. When your bigs can shoot free throws well, that's just a bonus because so many times you have the, the tall players, for whatever reason, don't seem to have a high free throw percentage. And Memorial one and down as Vlahakos puts up a short baby hook from the right side. No good, rebound dog. Sturdivant throws one that is tipped by Memorial and a collision. It'll go out of bounds and still belong to the Bulldogs. But it was Kendall Lyons. Wait a minute. They're going to give Memorial the ball. When they find it, it's underneath the table. Good job finding that ball. I really thought it was last touched by Memorial, but the Mustangs will have it. Austin still with its original starting five, and we have 40 seconds left in the first quarter as we have McCloskey bring it across the timeline, sends it to Blahakos. Looks like Memorial is in no hurry to shoot. Clock down to 30. There goes Tomaski driving the baseline, long cross-court pass. Now it's top of the key, fake of a three. McCloskey a three from the left wing, no good. Rebound fought for, India Jackson has it. 20 seconds to go, hands the ball to Sturdivant. Here come the dogs. Deep into left corner, there goes Gabby Johnson into the paint. Baby hook up off the glass. No good, rebound fought for, and it belongs to Memorial. Eight seconds to go, McCloskey looking for an opportunity. Gets it to Vlahakos. She's going to put one up from inside the lane. She's blocked by Johnson, and that's how the first quarter ends. The Fort Bend Austin Bulldogs lead 19-15, to and we'll be back after this message from the University Interscholastic League. What does the 50th anniversary of Title IX mean? It means I'm valued, I'm empowered, I can do anything. It means I'll pave the way for every girl who plays high school sports in the future. Just like every female student, coach, official, and administrator blazes the trail for me. Because every student deserves the opportunity to play. Encourage girls you know to participate in Texas high school sports. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the girls' UIL Basketball State Championship starting Thursday, March 3rd at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. So what basketball team will represent girls' Region 3 in Class 6A? Well, the Austin Bulldog girls are so young, I guess they don't know any better. You might as well go to San Antonio this year. The future is now. 19 to 15 is our score after one period of play. By the way, at halftime, we're not really sure what we're going to be able to do for you, but we're going to try to get Jennifer Alexander, the head coach of the Cy Creek Cougars. Her team is going to be taking on Dulles in the second game of our doubleheader. And I hope she'll come over here, and we'd love to talk to her. Bulldogs get the ball to start the second quarter. Sturdivant drives left, reverses herself, launches a three, and it's good to start the quarter. Ten seconds into period number two, and it's a 22-15 lead for Austin, their biggest lead of the game. Blahakos moving to her right, sends the ball to Polacek in the right corner. Guarded nicely by India Jackson. She has really kept Polacek from having an offensive impact. There goes Polacek. Side to side, puts it up, in and out, no good. She gets the rebound of her own miss and scores on the putback to make it 22 to 17. And I think LaQuisha Dickerson, Dog's head coach, was thinking that maybe Polacek pushed off to get that offensive rebound. And now the ball goes off of one of the Bulldogs' thighs. Well, actually, it went off of one of the Mustangs' feet, and that's why it was not an over and back call. Sturdivant drives the baseline, shoots a two, good! 24 to 17. McCloskey into the forecourt. Gets a pick from Vajacos and launches a three and it's good. 24 to 20. Six points now for McCloskey. Sturdivant, top of the key, launches one in and out. No good, rebound Vajacos. Gets the ball to McCloskey. 
The dogs have not applied much pressure in the backcourt. Now an entry pass. It looked like it was going to be a shot by McCloskey. I think she actually fooled Vlahakos. So it's still 24 to 20. Austin on top. Sturdivant already has 10 points for the dogs. Seven in the first quarter and then that three-pointer early in the second. Also 10 points for Gabby Johnson. The old lady on the team. She's the only senior in the starting lineup. DK with a lofted pass to Gabby Johnson. Turns around and shoots. Cannot get it to go in the rebound Vlahakos. She kind of thrashes away. And now a quick pass down the floor. Polacek scores. Austin made that too easy. They let somebody get behind the defense. And it's 24 to 22. They still have the two-point lead. DK kills her dribble. Bounce pass inside to Johnson. But off her hands out of bounds. She turned to dribble and just lost it. Now we have a timeout. And there had been a substitution by the Bulldogs, and I didn't notice it. Brittany Adek came into the game briefly, and now she is replaced by India Jackson. Memorial bringing it up, trailing 24 to 22. There goes McCloskey to the left elbow, kicks it back out there to Tomaski. Her two-pointer is no good, and the rebound DK for Austin. Here comes Sturdivant right up the middle, splits two defenders, runs over one of them. Wow, that, uh, that looked like it hurt. Kendall Lyons got hit hard, and what's the call going to be? It's going to be a foul against Memorial. So that's adding injury to insult, although Lyons is not hurt. But she's got to be hurting. In fact, she goes off the floor right now, replaced by Mary Fielder. Johnson to inbound along the baseline underneath the basket at which the dogs are shooting. Dixon in the corner meets a double team. She's tied up and the arrow will favor Memorial. So the Mustangs will come back down the floor with an opportunity to tie or take the lead. McCloskey walking it up. Picked up by... Um, DK near the midcourt stripe. There goes Polacek, twists in, and scores off the glass. This game is tied at 24. Dixon into the forecourt. She drives through the free throw circle, puts up a floater, no good. Rebound, comes down to Memorial. Grabbed by Mary Fielder, who just came back into the game. Lajacos. Through the free throw circle, sends it to Polacek, drives into the paint, backing in, backing in, throws it back out there to Blahakos, and it gets away from him. A turnover, and Austin has the ball back. Memorial's going to make another substitution. Helen Rieke, she is a freshman, stands six feet tall. Here goes Sturdivant for the Bulldogs. Walks it across the midcourt stripe. Backs up a little bit. Gives the ball to Johnson. Still a long way from the hoop. Now they get the ball to Brittany. And then to Sturdivant. The three is on the way and it's no good. And the rebound, McCloskey. Memorial bringing it back the other way. They go from left to right. Send it over on the right side. It's Tomaski Drives up to the baseline. And her shot is in and out. Rebound DK for the Dogs. Bounce pass to Sturdivant. And Austin back on the attack. There goes Andrea, pulls up at the free throw line, in and out, no good. Rebound fought for, and it comes down to Polacek. Here comes Memorial, Tomaski, long pass. Can she save it? No. It goes beyond the baseline. And that's a gift to the Austin Bulldogs, who again allowed opponents to get down the floor. There goes Sturdivant across the timeline. Picked up there by someone who hasn't defended her yet, Helen Rieke. Now Gabby Johnson with the ball over her head. And now a throw away. Sturdivant was the intended target. Actually, it was tipped out by Memorial. So it'll still be Austin Ball. Sturdivant throwing the ball in to the corner. And pass deflected. It's a turnover. DK tried to get it in there to Gabby Johnson, and it ended up in Polacek's hands. Here comes Memorial. We're still tied at 24. 3.40 to go before the end of the half. Lahakos started to throw it right. Now threw it left. Polacek 
Stops near the right elbow, spins. She's blocked by Gabby Johnson, but she gets the ball back and scores. And for the first time, the Mustangs are on top. It's 26 to 24. Sturdivant meets a double team near the midcourt stripe. She backs up in the right corner, launches the three. Good. Young Andrea Sturdivant always with a good answer on offense. And the dogs are back on top, 27-26. We'll take a timeout and be back on FightFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Just over three minutes left in the first half. 27-26 Austin, but then Memorial grabs the lead back. Helen Rieke drives in and scores. Now Sturdivant into the forecourt for the dogs. Gets it to DK. Entry pass to Gabby Johnson. She is knocked down. It's a bumping, well, I don't think technically that's the right term for it, but Nikki Polacek did knock her down with a good hip check. That's the first foul on Polacek. Sturdivant inbounds. Gabby Johnson has it. Now it's Dixon. DK. Now Sturdivant in the left corner. Three is no good. Rebound fought for. Johnson had her hands on it for a second, but it goes off of Memorial out of bounds, and the dogs will keep it. Sturdivant to inbound. And you have Helen Rieke goes out. Kendall Lyons back in. Gabby Johnson has it. Now to Dixon. Bobbled the ball for a moment. Dribbles. Now kills her dribble and gets it to Sturdivant between the rings. And an entry pass off the hands of Gabby Johnson out of bounds. 28 to 27, Memorial leads it with 2.30 to go in the first half. And we will hope that Jennifer Alexander will come over to our table. She's the head coach of Side Creek. We'd really like to talk to her about the second game of our doubleheader. There is a move to the hoop. Kendall Lyons got a pick and she scored. Sturdivant. Is the first time that the dogs have been down by three. It is 30 to 27. As Memorial passes it, uh, tips a pass out of bounds. Sturdivant to inbound right in front of the Memorial bench. Looking for Dixon. Now gets it to Johnson. Johnson turns, faces the hoop. And one of the Mustangs was reaching in. That's Guajacos. That's her first foul. Yusuf Larry is the head coach of Memorial. He squatted in front of the scorer's table, giving some instructions. He got to scout the Bulldogs game against Cinco Ranch in person at Wheeler Fieldhouse. Sturdivant has it. Is it a catch and shoot? No, she drives to the free throw line, pulls up, shoots, no good. Rebound, Vajacos for Memorial. The Mustangs lead by three. And here they come, McCloskey, left wing, drives inside the arc. And it's a reach-in foul on Amina Dixon. Second foul on Amina. Lahakos to throw it in along the baseline for Memorial. Gets it to McCloskey. The clock is at 1.49 to go. McCloskey, long three, short, just grazed the front rim. And India Jackson grabs the rebound for the Bulldogs. There goes Sturdivant. Now DK into Johnson. Muscle move, and she scores. 30 to 29, now a long pass by Memorial. India Jackson was there, I think, to obstruct the view of Nikki Polacek, and it goes out of bounds. Austin gets it back, and they can take the lead as they take possession with 1.29 to go in the first half. 
Sturdivant walking it up. Now it's Gabby Johnson driving to the right elbow. Kills her dribble. Back to Sturdivant. Three on the way. And it's no good. And the rebound volleyballed up. And it is Tomaski who comes down with it for Memorial. She'll dribble it down the floor near the left sideline. Spins near the left elbow. And she traveled. Indeed, you can't do that. Dixon does the honors, bringing it across the midcourt circle. Hands the ball to Sturdivant. Sturdivant gets a pick from Jackson. Can't get the shot she wants. Still dribbling between the rings. Sends it over to Dixon. Drives the right baseline. Runs out of room, but she's knocked down. And that'll be a foul on Memorial. Let's see if it's on Blahakos. It is on Vlahakos. That's her second foul. Dixon to try and tie the game with the first free throw. She does. And now it is Mary Fielder back into the game for the Mustangs in their black uniforms with the red and white trim. Dixon to try and untie this 30-30 game. And she does not. It just rolls off. Pull a check grabs the board. She is a sophomore. Polacek's going to be a real good one too. Now the ball in Fielder's hand. She passes up the three. Gets it back to McCloskey. Top of the key. Pass into the left corner. And ball stolen away by the dogs. There goes Dixon. She's driving into India Jackson and she took steps. Wait a minute. It is an and one. It is an and one. I thought that India Jackson took steps. But they say it is an and one. So, uh, yeah, we'll take it. As you can tell, fans here in the Merrill Center are making a lot of noise. India Jackson has given the Austin Bulldogs a 32-30 lead. She'd like to expand it with this free throw. In and out, no good. Rebound fought for, and it comes down to Polacek for Memorial. 32 to 30, Austin leads. 20 seconds to go. Here comes McCloskey into the forecourt. Gets it to Polacek. Thinks about the three from the left wing. Behind the back dribble, drives to the hoop, scoops it up, and it's good. We're tied at 32. 11 seconds to go. Here comes Dixon over to Sturdivant. Sturdivant making a move. Pulls up, two-pointer on the way, and it sticks to the rim. And the possession arrow will favor the Bulldogs with four seconds left. It wedged in between the glass and the rim. And now they have to have another basketball to dislodge it. I thought the fans would cheer when they got the ball loose. All right, so four seconds to go. They do not adjust the clock. Sturdivant will inbound it. And a good play for the Bulldogs might be Andrea inbounds it, gets the ball back quickly. Johnson, now it's to Dixon. Got to shoot it. Sturdivant on the way. In and out, no good. And the first half ends. It's been entertaining. 32 to 30, the Austin Bulldogs leading the Memorial Mustangs. We'll be back with our halftime festivities, if you want to call them those, when we return on VibeFortBend.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. First Tower and Auto loves supporting school and youth sports programs. First Tower and Auto loves their customers. 
First Tower and Auto wants you to love your vehicle all month long. Up to $75 off repairs and up to $50 in savings on tires. Love heading to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointments today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Love, firsttireandauto.com. Welcome back. It is halftime inside the magnificent Merrill Center, 32 to 30. The Austin Bulldogs lead the Memorial Mustangs. I'm sorry, I said 32 to 30. It's tied 32 to 32. And with us is Jennifer Alexander, head coach of the Side Creek Cougars. They are taking on the Dulles Lady Vikings. And first of all, welcome in, coach. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, your program has really just had some fantastic seasons. I guess it's been a good four years where you've been top 10 in the state you know sometimes top five in the state so you did lose a couple of great players who moved on to the college ranks and what has it been like having to find someone to kind of rebuild with and get back to that elite state well um you know losing five five starters you know senior starters and 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 two mcdonald's all american you know you gotta you gotta just it started in the off season with this group um this group right here early on, I mean, lots of up and the ups and downs, as you can imagine, um, just trying to find our way. And honestly, I, I feel like we're, we're playing well at the right time, you know. Um, and so with this group, just, just the work that they put in uh, and the focus just every single day to get better. Now, forgive me for not knowing, but did your team have its by-district game on Monday night or Tuesday? We had it on Monday. Okay, so you were not able to scout Dulles in person on Monday when they won a tough game over Katy. But what do you know about Dulles and what's going to be important for your team to do tonight to win in the second round? Well, you know, with Dulles, I mean, they're, they've been here, right? They're experienced, they're seniors, got a great group of good, good, good kids um, and guards. And so, you know, I think um, just not letting them get comfortable, you know. I mm -hmm. mean, th like I said, they've been here, so they're going to already have a level of comfort. So just trying to get them out of that, you know, as quickly and as much as possible. Now, one thing I know about you is you would not have had as much success as you've had if you weren't really competitive. And I was just wondering, okay, so you said you lost five seniors, including two really elite talents. And so did you ever have anyone say something directly to you? Did you overhear anyone or maybe kind of hear secondhand? Somebody would say, oh, yeah. Well, Side Creek is not going to be what they were. Did you have any kind of verbal challenge that made its way back to you that has you kind of burning inside? <laughs> of course. You so know, can you, uh, maybe you don't have to use names yeah, if you don't want. I won't want. drop any names there, but yeah. But what I did mean, it sound like? We've been hearing that kind of chirp, you know, from, from last year, really, since, mm -hmm. you know, we finished last year in March. Um, but, you know, this that's kind of fueled this group, you know. Um, our motto this year is Creek's still here. You know, we're still here and we're right back, you know, in a playoff, making a good push. So, um, yeah, I mean, of course that's motivating, um, you know. But at the end of the day, it's really not about what anybody says. It's about what we do and the work we put in. So, Well, um, I know that different people uh, have uh, different kind of brain configurations, and I wonder if you kind of have a compartmentalized brain where you can keep thinking all that you need to about the game that's coming up, your team against Dulles, but also did you get a chance to watch some of the action in the first half between um, Austin and Memorial, and what do you see going on out there? Um, you know, we know Memorial very well. They're in our district, um, and, and what they do, you know, they spread you out and they kick. Um, Austin is just as athletic as any team, really, in the playoffs that I've seen. Uh, so I think, you know, the hot shooting of Memorial and the ability to, you know, spread you out with the athleticism. I mean, it's a great game. It's a great first half. Um, it'll be it'll be good going down the stretch here. So, are there any little tools of the trade and little uh, things that, let's say, you have a very experienced team against a team like Austin with two freshmen in the lineup, um, and I think those girls are going to be they're already really good right. and they're going to be great in the years to come. But uh, what are something? What is something that maybe? a junior or a senior could say that might get uh, a freshman off her game? Yeah, so, you know, four years ago we were in this exact situation where we had two female freshmen, right? And the funny thing with those young kids is they don't know what they don't know. You know, they, they just <laughs> yeah, don't. they don't know any better. Exactly. So as an upperclassman, um, you know, you just try to rattle them and let the mo try to let the moment consume them, you know, however, whatever that is in your game plan. Um, you know, 
obviously experience is, is a huge thing, and I mean, especially in the playoffs. But sometimes that freshman not knowing what they don't know is, you know, is just as key. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of with these two groups. And another thing that, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this hypothetically because I was never that good of an athlete. But it might be easy for someone to just think there will be other days. But you never really know. Right. This might be the year. And, and even if uh, a lot of important players on your team are freshmen and sophomores, you might as well go ahead and try and do something that will give you a legacy for many years to come right now. Right. Um, is there anything that you can say to make sure that nobody kind of says there will be other days? Yeah. You know, we, and it didn't matter in the years past and this year. It's it's really one at a time. Um, you know, we haven't even talked about a practice tomorrow because right now we're just focused on, on you know, on Dulles. So, yeah, you can't take it for granted. Um, it was funny the other day uh, in, in film, the girls were like, we, it's time it's go time like you you guys better and you know they focus well but the, the focus just in, you know increased at another level so um you know you just can't take it for granted and, and and you hope as young kids you know it's easy it's it's easier for seniors to to have that kind of mindset and older kids because their days are numbered but even with our young kids out here just um learning that that you know it's one game at a time and you can't overlook any moment or any game so there's so many layers to this, yes. and it's all so exciting. It, it's, it gives you a little bit of apprehension because you just don't know what's going to happen, and that's why we love this right. stuff so much. Right. Jennifer Alexander, thank you so much for being with us, and uh, your Side Creek Cougars will be taking on Dulles as soon as this first game is over, and thanks for taking some time to come over here and, and talk to me because, you know, I didn't think I'd be able to get you in that short interim right. between the two no. games. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure talking with you. All so, right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is 32 to 32 at halftime as your Austin Bulldogs are tied up with the Memorial Mustangs. And this game is even closer than the score indicates. I was just checking to see if you were listening. It can't be any closer than 32 to 32. We'll step aside and be back with the second half. Right after this on BiteFortBend.com, the cheers are for the Memorial Mustangs. They're coming back out of the locker room. We shall return. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Just a half a minute away from restarting this basketball game. Here are your scoring leaders for the Austin Bulldogs. Andrea Sturdivant with 13 and Gabby Johnson 12. That is the bulk of the scoring. Kalechi DK has two points and Amina Dixon just one. Nikki Polacek has most of the points for the Memorial Mustang. She has a dozen. Rylan McCloskey with six, both on three-pointers. Abigail Tomaski with four points and Helen Riki with two. As far as foul trouble, you've got Gianna Vlahakos with two fouls nobody else with two fouls on the memorial team and for the bulldogs it's amina dixon with a pair of fouls so memorial gets it to start the third quarter tomoski dribbling moving to her right now to her left stops near the left elbow sturdivant on her gives the ball up lahakos drives into the paint gets the ball poked away but recovers and gets it to tomoski in the left corner her three-pointer is blocked by gabby johnson it goes out of bounds off of one of the Bulldogs' legs. And so it's still going to be Memorial Ball, but Gabby Johnson has four blocks already. 
And there is a near steal of an inbounds pass by Sturdivant, but she swatted the ball and it went out of bounds after she kept it in. So the dogs are putting on the defensive pressure, but Memorial still has possession in this 32-32 game. This the first possession for Memorial in the third quarter, and there's a shot by Polacek in and out. No good. Gabby Johnson with strong defense. She definitely disrupted the shot. Sturdivant sends it to Dixon. Dixon drives into the paint, runs a floater. No good. Rebound. Fought for. Dixon gets it back. DK drives inside the arc, pulls up, shoots a 12-footer. No good rebound tipped by India Jackson, but McCloskey grabs it for the Mustangs. Still tied at 32. We played one minute of the third quarter. Tomaski three on the way, in and out, no good. Rebound, Gabby Johnson hands to Sturdivant. Now DK driving the right baseline, goes underneath the defender and scores. Beautiful dipsy do move. McCloskey driving the right sideline. Sturdivant picks her up. Gets the ball to Blahakos. Sends it to Tomaski in the right corner. Drives the baseline. Tries to bump DK out of the way. DK blocks the shot. And quickly ahead to Gabby Johnson. Layup good. Gabby runs the floor so beautifully. Like a gazelle, but she is big. Don't get in her way. Tomaski in the forecourt for Memorial. Now Polacek hard off the glass. No good. She goes over the back of India Jackson to get the rebound. Tomaski puts it up. She's fouled on the putback. Lemony Snicket's with an unfortunate series of events for the Austin Bulldogs, who were up 36 to 32, but now it's 36-34, and Tomaski can cut the lead to one. And she scores. And that makes it 36-35. Austin with the ball. Right wing. It is Andrea. She gets it inside to Gabby Johnson. Puts it up twice and fouled the second time. And nice sportsmanship. Nikki Polacek is helping Gabby Johnson off the floor. 5.59 to go in the third quarter. And Austin clinging to a one-point lead. Gabby's first free throw is good. Now Gabby goes back to the line to shoot one more. And it's off the side of the rim, no good, and the rebound run down by Blahakos for the Mustangs. McCloskey guarded in the backcourt by Sturdivant. But now she gets it to Vlahakos, who walks up unguarded, drives the left side of the free throw line. Gabby Johnson blocks the shot. India Jackson quickly ahead to Dixon. Crossover dribble, layup, no good. Grabs her own rebound, puts it up and draws a foul. Amina Dixon with relentlessness. One of the two freshmen in this starting lineup in Austin, by the way, is pretty much, except for a, a very brief substitution where Edek came in in the first half. They've gone with five players. And now there's some kind of discussion. It is Coach Yusuf Larry of Memorial listening closely while an official talks to someone at the scorer's table. Not really sure what this is about. And it is two shots. I guess they were just trying to make sure. Well, I don't know what they were making sure of because the official on the floor decides if it was a shooting foul or an on-the-floor foul. Dixon, first free throw, no good. Off the left side of the rim. 37-35 is our score. Bulldogs on top. Dixon, second free throw, also off on the left side. And the rebound, Vlahakos for Memorial. She will dribble it up herself. Gabby Johnson picks her up, top of the key. She's backing in, backing in, kicks it back out to Polacek. Three on the way, long, no good. Gabby Johnson gobbles up the rebound, gives it to Sturdivant. Here come the Lady Bulldogs. Right down the middle, Sturdivant, three from the top of the key, no good, rebound. Battle, battle, battle. India Jackson gets a hand on it, but it goes out of bounds and Memorial will get it back. Hey. 
5.08 to go in the third quarter. Andrea Sturdivant causing all kinds of disruption in the backcourt. And it's a steal. Steal by Dixon. Over to Sturdivant. Free throw line. Backs up. She's hit. Puts it up. Can't believe there wasn't a foul. Tomaski slammed into her. But the ball does go out of bounds. And it still belongs to Austin. All right. Substitution for Memorial. In comes Kendall Lyons. Out goes Mary Fielder. Dixon inbounds near sideline, gets it into DK, over to Sturdivant. Between the rings, dribbling, moving through the paint. Floater up and rolls around, no good. Rebound ended up in India Jackson's hands, but swatted out of bounds by Memorial. The Bulldogs still have it. Leading 37-35. Gabby Johnson driving, puts it up and draws the foul. Vlahakos cannot believe that she was called for it. That is the third foul on her. And to the line goes Gabby Johnson, who already has 15 points in the game. First free throw, good. The second game of our doubleheader is Side Creek against your Dulles Lady Vikings. That'll probably start within 20 to 25 minutes after this first game ends. 38-35, make it 39-35 as Gabby Johnson hits them both. Tomaski in the backcourt for Memorial. Cross court pass, get in the hands of Helen Rieke. She's on the floor now. Rieke turns around, throws it back to McCloskey. Three on the way from the left-hander. It's no good, but Sturdivant called for a foul and McCloskey will go to the line for three shots. By the way, could not help but notice the spelling of the last name of one of the Memorial players, Helen Rieke, as McCloskey misses the first free throw. I had a, there was a guy I went to high school with at McCullough High School, which later became the Woodlands. His name was Greg Rieke. He played for the Highlanders. Was a two-year varsity player, and I just wonder, could Greg Rieke possibly be... Helen's grandpa or great uncle or something. One free throw, good, out of three by McCloskey. There goes Sturdivant, pulls up at the right elbow, way short, and the rebound, Gabby Johnson somehow got it. No look pass to India Jackson. Now it's DK, drives, Euro step move, loses it, goes up, whistle, and DK got her safety goggles. Her corrective vision special basketball goggles knocked off of her head. Now she gets him back on, and the dogs inbound along the baseline. Uh, baseline Sturdivant to Johnson. Right elbow, DK inside. Draws a foul as she goes in. Blocking foul called on Tomaski. <laughs> Abigail, just her first foul. Gabby Johnson and uh, Nikki Polacek talking to each other, both smiling. I wonder if they're talking smack or what. I would love to know, but we'll never know. DK at the line for a pair of shots. First one rattles around and goes down. A lot of trajectory to the foul shot of Kelechi DK. That makes it 40 to 36. The biggest lead that the Bulldogs have enjoyed is seven points. And now the lead is five, 41 to 36. As she swishes the second free throw, Sturdivant almost stole it, but stepped on the baseline. And it looks like the Bulldogs are turning up the defensive heat a little bit in the backcourt. Helen Rieke to throw it in, slaps the ball, looking, 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 gets it in. Now to McCloskey. Guarded heavily by DK. DK making it tough for her to get up the floor, but they do get into the forecourt. Tomaski starting to pull up for a three, drives the hoop, and a layup from the left side. Scooped it in with the right hand. Here goes Sturdivant. Getting around a defender, puts it up, and it's long. No good. India Jackson the rebound. She tries to score, but we're going to have a two-shot foul as India Jackson went up strong. 
India with four points thus far. Holds the ball up to her right hip. Now she takes four dribbles. First shot in the air. Good. 42 to 38. Lahakos back in off the bench for Memorial. She's got to be careful. She has three fouls. Jackson taking her time. Next free throw is good. 43 to 38. Ball inbounded. Memorial with McCloskey. Guarded by Sturdivant. Cross court pass to Blahako. She's unguarded. Gets it into the forecourt. Now sends a pass to Tomaski on the left wing. Backs away from DK. Now hands it to Blahakos. Stops at the left elbow. Now gives the ball up. And Kendall Lyons puts up a long jumper that misses badly. 43-38. Here come the Bulldogs. Trying to match their biggest lead. Crossover move. Sturdivant shoots a two off the front iron. No good. Rebound India Jackson. Put back. No good. And the rebound Polacek for the Memorial Mustangs. Gets it to Blahakos. Here come the Mustangs galloping up the floor. I guess loping was be more like it. They're not really pushing it. McCloskey sends it to the left corner. Vlahakos picks up her dribble. Now McCloskey launches a left corner three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound, DK. And a scuffle for the ball. It's a held ball and it will belong to Austin. Kalechi DK really showing the hops there, going up between two taller players to wrestle away the rebound. Dixon gives it back to Sturdivant. Looking for a pick from Johnson, gets it but cannot get free. Polacek is still guarding Andrea. Now Gabby Johnson has the basketball, sends it to Jackson. And there's the three on the way. No good. Gabby Johnson the rebound. Puts it up. Sturdivant launched the three. Gabby Johnson got the rebound. Put it up strong. And she will go to the line for another shooting opportunity. That foul was on McCloskey. And that is only her second. And we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is VikeFortBend.com. We'll be back after this message from the University Interscholastic League. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the girls' UIL Basketball State Championship starting Thursday, March 3rd at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Ticket information and more can be found at UILTexas.org. On a personal note, Greg Rieke, if you are listening to this game, whether live or on the podcast, if you are related to Hen uh, Helen Rieke, this is one of your old Highlander buddies. You may not even remember me, but... Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, Greg, just send me an email at roger.smith at vipe.com. Also, I remember Greg's big brother, Glenn, played at Rice. Obviously a smart family. You know, my mom went to Rice. She was one of the first female students ever to go to Rice Institute. Lost my mom December 5th. All right, here we go. Gabby Johnson, good free throw shooter, but that one rolls off the right side. She'll get one more with 2.33 to go in the third, and the Austin Bulldogs leading the Memorial Mustangs, 43-38. to She missed them both, but India Jackson grabs the rebound, turns around, gets it to start of it, drives into the paint, floater, short, no good, rebound, Jackson has it, ball still loose now, Sturdivant has it, backs up, and her pass is blocked, but she gets the ball back. Now she's dribbling again. Side to side dribble. Into the lane, left-hander, no good. Way short, and Tomaski grabs the rebound for the Mustangs. Memorial down by five, long pass. Gabby Johnson picks it off. 
stepping right into the passing lane. Great instincts, great ability. I love Gabby Johnson. I think she's my favorite female basketball player. Now Sturdivant trying to spread out the defense. She is backing away from Kendall Lyons. Now sends it to the left corner. DK can't find the shot she wants. Now Gabby Johnson drives to the right elbow and she turns it over. Steal by McCloskey. Here comes Memorial, still trailing by five. And it's into the free throw circle and a nice pass to Polacek. She draws the foul. DK got her on the arm from behind as she had gotten position. Correction, it was Tomaski, not Polacek, who put up the shot. She doesn't waste any time, but her first free throw is no good. I was looking at an old YouTube video of uh, Lakers from the early 70s. Wilt Chamberlain took about one and three-tenths seconds to release a free throw as soon as the, the official handed him the ball. And he was a terrible free throw shooter. But Tomaski did make the second one. Sturdivant has it. Guarded by Lyons, moves right, now left. She's free, but a long way from the basket. And Vlahakos now picks her up. She's dribbling between the rings, no pressure on her. Now Gabby Johnson has the ball, throws it cross court to India Jackson, but Sturdivant recovers. The ball is stolen away, however, by Lyons. Hands it to Vlahakos. India Jackson forces a miss, but a rebound to Memorial. Tomaski goes up strong and gets fouled on the putback attempt. She will go to the line. The Austin lead is down to four, 43 to 39. And Tomaski, who has 10 points, steps to the line and quick release in there to reduce the lead to three, 43 to 40. Tomaski with free throw number two, in and out, no good. Rebound Bulldogs, Gabby Johnson gets it, hands to Sturdivant. Sturdivant side to side dribble, trying to get away from Lyons, now Polacek picks her up. Johnson gives her a pick, there goes Sturdivant, puts it up with the right hand, and what a miracle shot! Oh my goodness! From the right side, falling out of bounds and off the glass for two. It is 45 to 40. Lajalcos dribbling in, dribbling in on uh, Gabby Johnson. Backing in, backing in, turnaround is good. It's not often that you can shake and bake and get a ball to go in over Gabby Johnson, but Blahakos pulled off the feet right there. It is 45-42 Bulldogs. Sturdivant moving left. Polacek guarding her. Now DK along the baseline. Gets free inside. Slithering through like an octopus and scoring to make it 47 to 42. McCloskey into the forecourt. Into the third quarter. Three on the way short. No good. Wow, that third quarter went by quickly. Got a timeout. We'll take it with them. Byfortbend.com. Eight minutes to go. Austin leads it 47 to 42 over Memorial. And we'll be back. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Tire and Auto loves supporting school and youth sports programs. First Tire and Auto loves their customers. First Tire and Auto wants you to love your vehicle all month long. Up to $75 off repairs and up to $50 in savings on tires. Love heading to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointments today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Love, firsttireandauto.com. This VibeFortBend.com presentation of the Austin girls in the second round of the playoffs is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tire and Automotive with four great locations in Fort Bend County for the best prices on tires and everything else your vehicle needs to run at its very best. Visit FirstTireAndAuto.com. And by Archer Volkswagen on the Southwest Freeway just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. They've been open since 1956 and ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. You'll feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen. 
Memorial gets the ball first to start the fourth quarter. There goes Tomaski backing, uh, backing in on DK. And she took steps. Good defense by Kalechi. 47-42. Bulldogs by five. Their biggest lead was in the second quarter when they led by seven. They go with basically the same five players the whole time. They have had only one brief substitution. Gabby Johnson has the ball, holding it over her head near the midcourt circle, gets it to Dixon. Dixon on left wing, pulls up, gets it back to Sturdivant, and they move it a long way from the basket. Tomaski is on Sturdivant. Now it's Gabby Johnson, turns around near the top of the key, gets it back to Sturdivant, over on the left side, makes a move on Tomaski, kicks it back out to Dixon. She can't find her shot. Interior pass to Johnson. Layup is good. Got interior position on Polacek and scored to match the biggest lead. It is 49 to 42. Vlahakos into the front court for the Memorial Mustangs. Backing in on Johnson, turns around. Her shot is no good and Gabby grabs the rebound. Here comes Austin. Dixon down the left sideline, pulls up. Gets it back to Sturdivant between the rings. Nobody guarding her right now. McCloskey comes out on her. Sturdivant still hasn't made a move. Inside to Johnson. Gets position. Puts it up. It's no good. India Jackson grabs the rebound and muscles it in. That's the biggest lead. 51-42. And Memorial wants a timeout. We'll be back on VikeFortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Memorial is down by nine, and they've got six and a half minutes to catch up. Polacek, side-to-side -side dribble, moving in on India Jackson. Lost it, got it back. Put up the shot, no good. Rebound, Sturdivant, and she comes out of there. Andrea down the left sideline, quickly ahead to Dixon. Inside to Gabby Johnson, she's got position. Her layup is good. It's an 11-point lead, 53-42. to Here comes McCloskey, quickly down the floor. Polacek fakes the three, drives inside, poked away by Sturdivant. A steal by the Bulldogs. As Jackson picked it up and handed it back to Sturdivant, there goes Andrea. Dixon open for a three, but she passes up that shot, throws it inside to India Jackson, and Tomaski takes it away for Memorial. Sturdivant almost got it away from her, McCloskey, and now it is Lions with a long three, no good, rebound, and a putback is good, Vlahakos. And that brings the lead back down to single digits. It's 53 to 44, and a timeout taken by the Bulldogs. We'll be back on VikeFortBend.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. This VibeFortBend.com presentation of the Austin girls in the second round of the basketball playoffs is brought to you in part by the Needville Insurance Agency. You'll get the very best rate on your car and home insurance 
when you put the Needville Insurance Agency to work for you. Bradley Stavin on his team, shop dozens of carriers, and you will pay the lowest premium possible. Call them at 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. The Austin Bulldog girls with the basketball leading by nine with 5.21 to go. There goes Andrea Sturdivant. Sends it to Dixon on the left wing. She passes up the shot. Now cross-court pass to DK. DK trying to get around Tomowski. Drives to the right corner. Pulls up. Looking for someone to throw it to. And a bounce pass off of Sturdivant and out of bounds. A break for Memorial. The Mustangs will get it back. Trailing by nine with 5.07 to go. Lahakos sends it to McCloskey. Sturdivant guarding her as she moves into the forecourt. Behind the back dribble to get away. Tomoski a long three in and out. No good. Gabby Johnson grabs the rebound. Nobody there in a black uniform. It was all Austin crashing the boards as Memorial had spread out the offense. Into Gabby Johnson. Scoop from the right side is good. Gabby Johnson, just as she did on Tuesday night, playing like she does not want this to be her last high school game. And there's a near steal blocking foul on, oh my goodness, India Jackson called for it, and it looked like it was a clean poke away steal, but the whistle came right before that, or maybe simultaneously. It's an 11-point lead for the Dogs. And it is Vlahakos throwing it in. McCloskey, three on the way. Missed wide right, missed everything. And Polacek tried to save it as it bounced past the baseline. And she was right in front of the Austin boy athletes. Looks like the football team is out in force. And, you know, you want to make the Merrill Center feel like your home court. You got Helen Rieke back into the game for Memorial. Sturdivant has it. Picks up her dribble, now throws it to Gabby Johnson. Gets it poked away by Vlahakos. Here come the Mustangs. Sturdivant redirecting Vlahakos, who is still dribbling. Now gets it over there to Polacek. Vlachowski three on the way. In and out, no good. Rebound, Dixon. And now the Bulldogs push it. It's a three on two. There goes Amina, and she draws contact as she goes through the paint. And it's a blocking foul on Nikki Polacek. That's going to be foul number four on the sophomore six-footer for Memorial. Dixon taking her time. First free throw in and out. Still an 11-point lead. That's the biggest advantage that the Dogs have had. Riki comes out. Tomaski come, comes back in after a very short rest. Dixon takes the next shot and it goes down through with a soft touch. Rim, glass, and then back down through the net. 12 point lead, 56 to 44. Less than four minutes to go, 346 to be exact. There goes Blahakos, backing in on Johnson, kills her dribble. Now she throws it to Polacek. Now it's Tomaski drives the right elbow. And swatted away by DK. Oh my goodness, the fans love it. It sounded like a punt in a football game. She basically spiked it with her fist. Now Vlahako throws it into Tomaski. DK on her. She elbows DK out of the way. Offensive foul. Kalechi DK with a block. And then she draws an offensive foul. Great defensive work. She's just a junior. She'll be back for more next year. But hey, 2022, let's uh, let the future be now. Sturdivant taking her time, gets into the forecourt, guarded by Lyons. Still dribbling between the rings. Side to side, shakes her defender now. It's a three-pointer on the way, no good by Dixon, and the rebound to Memorial. Here comes McCloskey, her pass tipped, and it almost goes out of bounds, and it hits someone's laptop. I'm just so glad it wasn't mine. Lahakos right in front of us, is going to throw it in. Sends it to McCloskey, directing traffic. Looking for a pick, look out. It's an over and back call. Her right heel hit the mid-court stripe. I was on top of it just like the official. 
And McCloskey just didn't realize how far back she had gone. DK to inbound it for the dogs. Gets it to Sturdivant. Lions on her. Dribbling between the rings. Dixon, left wing. Thinking about the three, but gives it up to Sturdivant. Now it's DK back between the rings, and they're just playing a little keep away. DK almost lost it, but now she's dribbling. In control, gets it to Dixon. Started to drive, drive the right baseline and gave it up. Now Sturdivant avoids a defender, and now she's blocked by the bottom of the rim. You won't often see that happen to someone like Andrea Sturdivant. There goes Tomaski. And a little Euro step move. She puts it up and draws a foul from Gabby Johnson. Gabby Johnson, 23 points, and that is her first foul. So she has a half a dozen block shots, 23 points, and didn't commit a foul until there's 2.34 to go in the game. Tomaski hits the first one. She'll get one more, it's 56 to 45. In and out with that one, and the rebound to DK. Tries to save it, throws it back in. The ball is on the floor and it's a held ball, and the possession arrow will give it back to the Bulldogs. Head coach LaQuisha Dickerson tells her girls to just, everybody except the two in the backcourt get way deep in the forecourt. Actually, now she wants India Jackson to throw the ball in. Memorial has to press at this point, trailing 56-45, less than two and a half minutes to go. There is Sturdivant, moving in on Lions, going side to side, gets free, but she's not interested in scoring, she just wants to bleed some clock right now. Gets it to Dixon, entry pass, Gabby Johnson blocked by the bottom of the rim. She got a little too far under there. Here comes Polacek with DK back. Riki has it, now gets it to Lions. And now over in the right corner, McCloskey three, no good, rebound, Gabby Johnson. Here come the dogs. Gabby across the midcourt stripe. She's gonna go all the way to the hoop, but she's called for the offensive foul. Lions hit the floor hard. That's the second time tonight that that has happened. We got a whistle and a substitution here. Who's coming in? Riki came out. Uh, I'm not sure who came in for her. It was a very quick substitution. 11 point lead for the dogs. 1.45 to go, Memorial with the ball. Give and go, and a turnover by Memorial. Lajakos threw a bounce pass, Polacek either wasn't expecting it or it was a little bit lower than she expected. Goes out of bounds and Austin has it back. Memorial brings in Elena Mandola. 5'7", junior. And India Jackson inbounds the ball to Sturdivant. Lions guarding Andrea. Now she is double teamed, moves it down the right sideline. She's into the forecourt. One and a half minutes to go. Gabby Johnson there to DK who moves in, now moves out. Sturdivant has the basketball. Top of the key, it is Jackson. Now Dixon, now back to Sturdivant. They're just playing keep away. They lead by 11 with 1.14 to go. Trying to move on to the third round of the playoffs. There goes Sturdivant, and a reach-in foul called. No, it's a timeout called by the Austin Bulldogs, and we'll take it with them. This is by FortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. 
as the Austin Lady Bulldogs are ready to salt away a second round playoff victory over the Memorial Mustangs. The Dulles Lady Vikings emerge out of the, I guess it's the Northwest Tunnel of the Merrill Center in Katy. It's about to be all over for the Memorial Mustangs. The Bulldogs still have possession of the basketball with 11 minutes, I'm sorry, a minute and nine seconds to go and they lead by 11 points. Into Sturdivant, she meets a double team but she's quite the ball handler. She does get it stolen away, now steals it back. Sturdivant quickly ahead to Dixon. DK gets her defender in the air, now passes it back to Gabby Johnson near the top of the key. We're under a minute to go, there goes Gabby and she's fouled by McCloskey. Gabby Johnson will go to the line. It's a good player to have up there when you want to add to your lead. The Austin Lady Bulldogs don't have a lot of depth, but they have avoided the kind of stress that you get when your lead is down to one or two possessions down the stretch. 53 seconds to go, and their lead is 12 after Gabby Johnson hits that first free throw, and here comes the next one. Off the back iron, no worries though. Here comes Tomaski for Memorial. Dogs wanna make sure they don't foul and then they do. Oh my goodness. So that basket brings it to a 10 point game and it's Abigail Tomaski going to the line. First free throw, or the only free throw, making it a three-point play, is good. 57 to 48. 15 points for Abby Tomaski. Long pass to Gabby Johnson. She's ahead of everyone, but then the pass is a little short, and Blahako swats it out of bounds. Ended up over there next to Jeff Mathis, who shoots video for H-Town High School Sports hosted by Todd Freed, powered by Vipe, every week on AT&T Sportsnet. Every Monday night, they have a new edition show, and it's also on CW39. India Jackson to throw it in for the Bulldogs. High pass, and it is Gabby Johnson. Back out to DK, passed up the three, dribbling side to side, meets the double team, gets it back to Johnson. She holds it over her head, now Sturdivant. Sturdivant draws a foul. Helen Rieke commits it. Helen Rieke is a freshman and Mary Lacey Rieke is one of the seniors on the Memorial team. 34.8 left, 57-48, Lady Bulldogs. Free throw rattles around and goes down. Fifty-eight to forty-eight, and it's just a matter of how long it takes to play the final 34.8 seconds. Second free throw good, 59-48. Austin with Sturdivant guarding McCloskey. Throws it inside, there is Tomasi. She gets it blocked by DK. She's had a couple of impressive shot blocks. Kalechi DK, you know, she doesn't have that imposing height. You don't think that she would be an, an automatic shot blocker, but she just has great anticipation. And she doesn't go straight up, she swats it. She misses, or Sturdivant was fouled and misses the first free throw, no worries. The Austin Bulldogs with a couple of late substitutions. They bring in Amber Kirkpatrick and Brittany Adek. Laquisha Dickerson is hugging Gabby Johnson and also Amina Dixon because she knows this one's in the bag. 12 point game, 60 to 48. Final 20 seconds right here, McCloskey. Near the top of the key, trying to get around Sturdivant. That's hard to do. Now gets the ball to Blahakos. Long three, no good. Rebound comes down to Kirkpatrick. Sturdivant hit hard in the backcourt. She draws a foul and she'll go to the line. Abigail Tomaski commits that foul. That's her fourth. 9.5 to go.
First free throw is good. Biggest lead of the game for the Dogs, 61-48. India Jackson comes out. Big smile, clapping her hands together. And Sturdivant hits the second one. She has 20. Memorial McCloskey launches one near the buzzer. And with three tenths of a second to go, the ball lands beyond the baseline. And it'll just be a matter of throwing it in. Kirkpatrick will throw it to Sturdivant. Ball game. The Austin Lady Bulldogs, 62 to 48 winners over the Memorial Mustangs. What a game they played. We'll be back to wrap this one up on BikeFortBend.com. Remember, it's just the first of a doubleheader. After this one, we'll have Dulles and Cy Creek. Don't go away. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. First Tyron Auto loves supporting school and youth sports programs. First Tyron Auto loves their customers. First Tyron Auto wants you to love your vehicle all month long. Up to $75 off repairs and up to $50 in savings on tires. Love heading to the website firsttyronauto.com and claim your savings. Make your appointments today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Love, firsttyronauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. You are the master of the multitask the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland for taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. Well, what an impressive win for the young Austin Bulldogs in the second round of the playoffs here. 62 to 48 over what I think it is safe to say were the favored Memorial Mustangs. And uh, it was the Austin Bulldogs who schooled the Mustangs. Leading the way for these Austin Bulldogs, Gabby Johnson, 24 points and only one foul. Playing great defense, half a dozen block shots. Andrea Sturdivant had 20 points. The freshman with 20, Kalechi DK had eight, and India Jackson also had eight in that effort for a 62 to 48 win for the Austin Bulldogs for Memorial. Let's see, you had Abigail Tomaski had 15 points. Nikki Polacek had 12 points, but she had 12 points at halftime. So Austin held her in check completely in this ball game, or in the second half of this ball game. So your Austin Bulldogs improved to 29 and five and they will advance to the next round. And so we are gonna say a quick goodbye here because we gotta bring you the game between Cy Creek and Dulles. It's the first of a doubleheader. Remember, this is VibeFortBend.com. We are your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. It is always free to listen live or listen later on the podcast. So VibeFortBend.com will bring you Dulles and Cy Creek, and it'll start in about 10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes. Okay, Roger Smith, glad you were with us, and we shall return. Let's see, 10 minutes from now, it'll be 7:10. Goodbye for now. Congratulations, Austin.